is just that's sad. That's what you want. He got his doctor's degree from a cereal box. Do not say that to the police. <laughs> <laughs> If I see a fat person walk through those doors, I'm leaving. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll man the other door. So much quiet. Oh, oh, God, there is a fat guy in here, too. Jesus, just as I said, if I see oh, a fat guy. No. Oh, God. No. 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 You're the chief of surgery, you can talk to him. <laughs> oh no, I'm good. Being the chief of Sir, can we help you? <clears throat> yes. I'm here for an appointment. Okay, I'm Dr. Adams, sir. Um, do you know who your appointment was with? No. They didn't specify. Alright, well, chief, uh, chief, where are you? There's The chief of surgery is here somewhere. Oh, I'm right here. Um, yes. this gentleman says he has an appointment. He doesn't know with, with who, though. Um, do you know who, uh, your regular physician here is? No. I um. usually go to Mount Zion. But, uh, oh. I had to switch here. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Well, uh, Dr. Adams, I think, uh, you can take him. Uh, what's your name, sir? We can check up on the computer here as well, and just see who your actual doctor is meant to be. Lois. My, my name is Louise Laguini. Louise Laguini, no, okay. Is he on the list there, Chief? Um, let me just check. What time was the appointment for, Mr. Laguini? I believe it was um, 15 minutes from now. Okay, yep, perfect. And what were you hoping to get looked at? Uh, I had an appointment we had to uh, double check my diabetes and then uh, go on a, uh, just some regular tests to check my health. All right, well, let's go this uh, way. Yeah, he's he's uh, on the list. Okay, perfect. Yep, let's go this way. We'll get you sat onto a bed and we'll do your tests and make sure that you're all okay and you can be on your way, okay, Mr. Lagoini? Okay. Let's just go this way. I need a... I'm getting a new job, so I gotta have my physical done, too. Oh, okay, perfect. What kind of job are you going for? Um... They haven't uh, gave me the exact position yet. Oh, okay. You you applied for this job though. It's a it's a independent contractor that job. I work by myself, but I'm contracting through the main company. Oh, okay. Um, Miss Lagoini, we're gonna get oh, you to just go ahead and sit on this bed here, okay? Just make yourself comfortable, and I'll just pull up your chart, okay? Mr. Laguini, how long have you had diabetes for, sir? Uh, I think two years now. Two years, and what is your age, sir, and date of birth? Oh, oh, you know, I don't quite remember. You you don't quite remember how old you are? No, I tend to forget things like that. Okay. Uh, Chief, he says he doesn't remember how old he was, or sorry, how old he is, or when he was born. Um, sir, do you have any pre-existing conditions that are of the dementia kind? No, no, it, 
Sometimes I forget it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm 44. I was born in 1976. You were born in 1976. You got a driver's license or anything on you, sir, that I can just look at the date and then, you know, because it just could affect the meds and stuff as well. Uh, uh yeah, one sec. All right, thank you. Good bit of a scenario going on here. All right, while, we're, while I'm looking at that, I'm gonna just take your blood pressure, okay? Ah, uh, here we go. Here it is. The 6th of the 3rd, 1976. Alright, I'll write that down on the chart. We really need to upgrade from charts the those new tablets they have at these at some of the newer hospitals so that we can have everything electronic and it can be just transferred over. Oh, uh, I'm sure they're working on that. Yeah, I, I hope so. Make sure the blood pressure is okay. All right, 149 over 90. Uh, Chief, do you want to just do some of the diabetes tests? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. I'll uh, take some blood work. Okay. And you said you needed a physical as well, Mr. Laguini. Yes. I'll go get a test kit. Alright. This job that you said you have applied for and you need a physical for, what kind of activities or um, stuff would you be doing in this job? Uh, it's a bunch of rain stuff. I believe it's either uh, a garbage position or or some sort of uh, delivery service. Okay, so you're probably going to be picking up some heavy items and doing some bending over and lifting and stuff like that. Yes. Okay. And I'm assuming... Alright, sir. Uh, you go, Chief. Could you please uh, hand me your, uh, yeah, your arm uh, while I take some of your blood? We, we want to cut people over, that's how bad we are at this job. Alright, Mr. Laguini, why are you doing that? I'm going to tap your knees with um my hand here, and you're going to just tell me if it hurts, okay? Any pain there or anything like that? Oh, that needle hurt. I know, I know. Oh uh, no, the, the, there's no pain from the judgment knee. Okay. Once we've um once you've given your blood and we'll give it about ten minutes just to make sure you're okay, I'll get you to stand up and we'll just do a couple of exercises and then I I can make my decision on your physical, okay? Okay. Did you drive to the hospital, sir, or did you walk? I drove. 
Okay, and how far was the walk from where you parked your car to the front door of the hospital? Uh, probably a block. Okay, so, um, you know, you had a bit of a walk to get here, a block, so a few hundred metres. That might be why your blood pressure was just not too high, but it was a bit higher than it should be, okay? Okay. Uh, are you currently on any medication at the moment? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, you on any, uh, you know, drugs or anything for your diabetes? I think he's responding to you styles at the moment. So we'll just give it a minute. Say that again, I'm sorry. Um, I said, are you currently on any medication for your diabetes? No, I don't believe so. Just had to make sure my sugar levels were good. Okay, so it was... Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, here you go, doctor. These are the results. Thank you, chief. So, according to this chart, it said that you had stage 1 diabetes. According to these tests, we're nearly at a stage 2 diabetes. So... Oh, boy. What was that, um, Mr. Laguini? Is that good or bad? Uh, it's not great. Um, it means it's gotten slightly worse over time. How long ago were you diagnosed with type 1? Uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah. All right. Two years ago. And you can't remember what doctor um, diagnosed you with type 1? No, I don't. Okay, that's alright, I can get that off the computer when I go back to there and just check. I just need to fill in this chart. Alright, you've been sitting for about 10 minutes since your blood's taken. Do you want to just go ahead and stand up on just on the floor here for me? We'll just get your medical stuff out of the way for your physical and then we'll worry about the diabetes. Um, I just need you to... So, if you were going to pick up a really heavy box or something, how would you go about doing that, Mr. Loguini? I would probably just bend over and pick it up. Okay, so that's kind of bad for your back. So, um, what what you're meant to do to make sure that you're safe and you don't hurt yourself is when you bend over, you bend over with your knees as well and then you just stand up slowly, not too fast or anything. You know what I mean? It's all about preserving yourself so you don't get hurt from an injury. Okay, yes. So, um... There's a fire extinguisher right there, so I want you to go ahead and just pick that up and then put it back on the ground, okay? Doing the method that I just explained. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Uh, doctor? Yes. Do you know what medication he takes for his diabetes? He claims that he doesn't take any medication for his type 1 diabetes. Oh boy, okay. Uh, Which is probably why it's gotten a bit worse over time. Some... Yeah. Um, so I'll let you pick up, but not as well as Doctor said. Okay, that was that was almost oh, close, Mr. Laguini. You just gotta bend your knees a bit more, okay, and just gently go down and back up, okay? Oh, okay. Alright, I just want you to face the bed for me. Are you gonna... Uh, are you gonna bend me over? No, I just wanna check your back, make sure your spine's okay, okay. you're not gonna hurt yourself or anything like that. Just... just gonna pat your back just gently, okay? Make sure there's no sensitivity or anything there, you're not in any pain or anything like that.
Uh, Mr. Laguini, you got like a lump here on the on your back. Do you know what that is? No. All right. We're... I mean, my back's been kind of hurting for a couple of weeks now, but. And you haven't had it checked yeah. out by a doctor? <laughs> nah. I mean, it it didn't really bother me. If I sat too long, my leg would go numb. But other than that, it just it just was like a a pain every now and then. Okay, go ahead and turn around again, and we're just gonna lift up the back of your shirt. I'm just gonna have a bit more of a look at this lump, okay? Yeah, that's not good. I hope it's uh, just a dislocated disc, because if it's a, it's a displaced vertebrae, that means surgery. Yeah, yeah. And surgery is a little risky, but, but we're very good surgeons, sir, and we can really help you out. Yes. Isn't there just like a chiropractor I can go to? No. If it's a dislocated disc, yes, but not if it's a vertebrae. Yeah, it means surgery. Hashtag not a doctor. Rip. <laughs> Intubate him. <laughs> uh. Alright, looks like it's a slipped disc. I mean, he could get it operated if he wanted to. And I mean, just check uh, his uh, nerve response in his legs to see if it's, you know... That slip disc is, uh, is you know, causing trouble with his spinal nerves. So you already said you were having some pain in your legs, isn't that what you just said? Yeah, if I sit for like, it, it, if I sit for, uh, you know, like a couple hours without getting a, like on a computer desk chair, it, it kind of get gets some nerve, it, it, that goes numb a little bit, like it goes to sleep. Then I get up and it, it kind of goes back to normal. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we maybe get a MRI scan and some scans of his back and spine. See what exactly yeah, we are looking do, at. Uh, yeah, and do uh, an electric nerve test on his legs to see um, if, it, if they're functioning properly. Oh no. I don't know. Get that electric shit away from me. Uh, it, it doesn't no, hurt, no, no. sir. It's just They're like just, a vibration. It's not. It's, we're just, yeah, we're just putting like little pads on you that detect the electrical signals from your brain all the way down to your legs. There's no electricity involved in it for you. Yeah, yeah you're not getting shocked I don't at all. Trust you guys with that shit. Are you refusing to have the test, sir? I mean, I don't want to get shocked or anything. No, I you won't be getting. Really you won't be getting shocked, sir, at all. It's just we put some pads on you, like the um. Dr. Vala here just said, we put some pads on you and we just, it, it detects your, um, you know, electrons in your body and how they're flowing and stuff like that. Making sure your nerves are all working correctly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and sit back on the bed for me. Oh, you can lay down. That's optional. Um, what's this machine over here? Tolerance inaccuracy with. <laughs> yeah, this machine looks like it. Just gonna push yeah, it. Just got gonna... a nerve induction machine. Yeah, just gonna push it over there. Oh. Oh, bugger, it says it's broken on the back. That's great. Um. Wait, one moment. Maybe I can fix it. Yeah. Have a look into that. Mr. Logwini, I'm just going to look at your arms and hands and just make sure they're okay um, for your physical as well. <laughs> Crab's mark on grass is broken off. <laughs> Okay, that all looks good. Now, I'm just going to put my tethoscope 
I'm going to put this end on your chest and you're going to take two big breaths in and then you're going to breathe out, okay? Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So whenever you're ready, two, two uh, one big breath in, sorry, and then one big breath out, okay? And then, and then you're going to take one more big breath in and one more breath out, okay? So two times. Okay. Okay. Ready whenever you are, sir. Okay, just hold it for a second. There you go. One more time. Okay, very good. Now, um, you're going to do it two more times again for me. I'm just going to put the telescope on your back, okay? Alright, whenever you're ready. One more. Alright, good job. Alright, sorry, we got the machine close enough. Uh, you want to connect it up, Doc? Oh, yep. you already are. Yep, getting it ready. Alright, uh, Mr. Laguini, you were a little wheezy, but I, I think that's just because um, your blood pressure was a little high and you just, um, you're kind of relaxing a bit more now, and then you kind of got a bit stressed when we mentioned the, the tests, okay? Okay, uh, just, just prep his legs and I'll get this going. Alright, we're just gonna roll your trouser legs up, sir. Might just shut this curtain. Oh, wrong button. Bit of privacy. Uh, ask, uh, sir, can you move your right leg, please? Just move it up and down, and uh, that's it. Moves leg. Mr. Laguini, what do you normally eat for breakfast and lunch and dinner? A uh, cereal for breakfast. Uh, lunch, it depends what I'm doing, but sometimes a chicken sandwich or a burger. Okay, so on a regular day you just have a uh, chicken sandwich or a burger for lunch? Yeah. Okay, and dinner? And some pasta for supper. You, you always have pasta for supper, or you sometimes change that up? Four or more is good on right leg. Oh, say thank you. Do you always have pasta, pasta sorry, for dinner, or do you sometimes have something else? It depends on what my mood is. Okay, and you always have cereal for breakfast? <laughs> Fat Yoda. I kind of want to say it to him, but... I don't know. He probably punches both. Uh, yeah, cereal or toast. Okay. And how often, you said you have burgers and chicken. How often do you ha eat chicken and burgers? Uh, probably every day. Okay, every day and you, like one bit of chicken or... 
one burger or maybe five burgers or you know what sort of quantity are we looking at here it's like a double cheeseburger or like a chicken sandwich okay and just one of them a day or you know a few more than that one or two one or two okay and how big is like the pasta and that that you eat of a night is it just like a little bowl or a big bowl or i don't like a plate full oh okay so, do you exercise much? No. So you don't you don't ever go for a run or a bike ride or a walk or go to the gym or anything like that? <laughs> I gotta be careful. You might punch me if I keep wording if I word this wrong. I'm sorry. I I kind of zoned out a little bit. Um, you don't, you know, go to the gym or go walking or running or bicycle riding or anything like that? No, not really. So when the doctor last diagnosed you with type 1, they didn't say do a bit of um, physical exercise or anything and try and improve that at all? No, they did. They did and you just chose not to listen? Yeah. Okay. Because cause at the at the moment... Uh, Dr. Adams? Yes, yep. Yeah. Uh, the results are ready. Okay. I can write them down if you give them to me. Uh, yep, here, just handing them to you. Um, so what I noticed is his right leg seems to be fine at 4 milliamps, which is the average uh, amps uh, when nerves are firing when moving up and down. But his left leg is below four, around 2.5 to 3 region, which means that that bulging disc is uh, interfering with the electrical impulses to his legs, which is not good. Okay, and what are you supposing that we do? What is your plan? Uh, I suggest that we do surgery to lift both vertebrae a bit forward, put on uh, some titanium or another type of metal rod and then slowly push the disc in and then leave it like that for about two weeks and then that should heal itself okay and for surgery you want to do that you want to book an appointment for that uh yeah we'll book an or uh mr laguini so you've just overheard this whole conversation so um are you willing to consent to the surgery I'd rather go to a chiropractor first. They're a little bit cheaper. Yep, sir, you can totally do that. Uh, but I am warning you right now, if that disc does slip at all, you could become paraplegic or even quad... quad... Oops, sorry. Something in my voice. Anyway, you could become paralyzed permanently. Eh. Then I can get uh, welfare. You <laughs> will be possibly paralyzed. <laughs> you can get welfare. Now. Just, just warning. That's optimistic. Right now. Oh Jesus! I'll take the chance. You're very optimistic, okay. sir. That's it's a lot cheaper. Sir, so just one more time. You, you don't want the surgery. Like I can't stress how serious this could end for you. It's very serious that you, you do take I mean, the surgery. I, I think a chiropractor will just be able to put my spine back in the Okay, place. refuses medical treatment. Just putting that down here. Yeah. Now, Mr. Laguini, don't take this the wrong way. Now, you, you're getting worse, okay? You're nearly at stage 2 diabetes. Well, I mean, you pretty much are at stage 2. I think me and the chief here can agree on that. Um, yeah. we are going to be yep. prescribing some medication, but you are going to have to start working out and either a little jogging or a bit of walking, or you're going to have to do some kind of exercise daily to try and help yourself out here because you are overweight, okay? <laughs> but those exercises have to wait until your spine get fixed. Yeah, that's exactly right. But like I said, you are overweight and you, yeah, well, you need to try and help yourself out, good. okay? What if I don't? Uh, well, your your condition is well, just going to get worse.
I mean, at the end of the day, I can't physically make you do stuff, but as your doctor, I'm telling you that this is what you need to do, otherwise your condition's going to get worse. A lot worse. And by worse, we mean, like, not very good quality of life and even death. Yeah. If it's my turn, it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it, uh, your choice. It's it's all up to you. You're the patient. All right, Mr. Loguini, I've done your physical. Um, uh, I mean, apart from bending over and your current back issue, you won't be able. I can't pass you for a medical at the moment until you've had the surgery or at least gone to the chiropractor and get the second opinion or whatever you need to do. Um, I'm not willing to sign off on the the physical. Um, it's just not possible at the moment. Okay. Well, what if I need the physical done to start work? Well, with a back like that, you oh, they won't employ you, baby. and I, I have to do my job, and I'm not signing it. <laughs> well, then how am I supposed to pay for the bills? Well, Mr. Laguini, you have a you have a disc issue where you could go to work, pick up a box, and it could slip out, and you could be paralyzed. Okay, so I can't sign you off knowing that you're you're very, you you know your condition is that bad. Well, how am I supposed to pay to go fix it if I can't get a job? Uh, I, well, our neurosurgery yeah, department yeah, does do some smile, pro bono. Aren't you? Yeah, there's always no, some pro bono sure. work that can be done. I'm sure I can talk to the neurosurgeons. They're great. Neurosurgeons. <laughs> yeah, this is too good. So you still want to go with the chiropractor um, idea that you've got in your head? Yes. Knowing full well that you may die, you may die just walking out of this hospital. You may die getting yeah, off the bed. Whatever, you guys, you guys are just selling ten thousand dollars surgeries. Okay, well, no, sir, it would be pro bono. You guys don't do nothing for free. It's a hospital. Well, we do, sir. Actually, we do do what, things for man, free anyway. sometimes. Yeah, we do sometimes. But um, if that's all, Mr. Laguini, we're going to go out to the desk out here. We'll get you medication that you need for your diabetes, okay? Whatever. And you'll have to sign a consent form saying that you're, you've, you know, you've heard our medical advice and you've refused the, the surgery and everything else, okay? All right. I'd already done the consent form here because that was on my clipboard. All right. Uh, just down the bottom, there's two pages. Uh, the one is for your refusing surgery, and the second page is you're you're aware of the implications of what could happen when you leave this hospital and you aren't willing to help yourself out there, so you need to sign that one as well, okay? Just down at the bottom where I've put two stars, okay? Okay. Uh, do you, where did Dr. Vala go? He might have gone out to the medicine bit. So let's go that way. Just follow me, Mr. Laguini. Sir, have you always been um, this overweight, or was there some sort of event that kind of made you eat this much? Or I'm trying to provoke. I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. I just enjoy food. You just enjoy food, okay. That's another thing I need to um, say to you, sir. Is you can't. You've got to start eating a bit healthier as well. You can't. It's not just exercise. Exercise isn't going to help you out. It's also food. You've got to start eating some greens, some you know lettuce, broccoli, carrots, and stuff like that. You know vegetables, fruit, apples, bananas, and stuff like that. That stuff sounds disgusting. Well, I mean, it it actually doesn't taste that bad, and I mean, at the moment, it, if you keep eating the chicken and the and the hamburgers and the pasta and all that, you could just end up fatter and fatter and bigger and bigger. And I'm sure you don't want to be like that. Am I 
time as I go, yeah. Uh, Dr. Violet's going to just give you your um, papers for the prescriptions that you need and stuff like that, and then you should be free to go. Hands them to patient. Uh, yeah, there you go, sir. You can go to any uh, any uh, prescription pharmacy, and uh, they'll get you these uh, right away, and help with your type, poss most likely type two diabetes now. Oh god. Most likely. <laughs> like, um, Mr. Uh, Laguini, if you walk out and and tomorrow you decide you do want to have surgery or something, you can all, you know, you can always come back and talk to one of us, okay? Yeah, we'll always oh, be here. God. Okay. Be safe. Okay. Unless they fire me. What a fat fuck. Oh, I don't think he's gonna live much longer. No, me either. I think he's nearly dead. I think he's at his expiration date. Uh, definitely. It's horrible. I mean, you can't help those who won't help themselves, honestly. Uh, I know, it's just terrible. I, I don't know what kind of man just yeah. refuses all the medical advice that we just gave, you know, being very experienced doctors that we are. Yeah, we even offered him free surgery. That surgery is like $30,000. Yep, I know, right? Unbelievable. I, I, I know with that kind of back injury, he's not going to... His quality of life isn't going to last mm. that long for very long at all. So he'll be back very soon in probably yeah. a lot worse condition. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I need I'll to sit down. That was that was a lot of hard work fucking talking to him. Oh, it was. <laughs> and he just <laughs> it was like talking to a brick wall. It really was. It's it felt like we were in a morgue and he's about to die. Good. And he just he would not accept our advice. I just need to sit down. My legs are killing me. It's been a that, you know, oh, why are you doing that? Sit on the fucking chair, dude. You get it figured out over there. Yep, hopefully. Or I'll just sit on the coffee table. Oh god, are you okay, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Vala? Oh yeah, that's just how I sit. <laughs> that's just how yeah. I sit. It's just how I feel after uh, being with that patient. <laughs> hey. Um, it looks like someone's parked in the emergency bay. What, someone's parked in the emergency bay? Well, it looks like, yeah, see, what's, whose car is this? I'll get security. Oh. There's nobody in it. Security, uh, sir, uh, there's someone parked in the, in the emergency area for the ambulances and that. Really? Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm a surgeon, so I mean, it's kind of your expertise, that one. Yeah, we could have an incoming trauma and these guys block the way. Yeah, we could have a code fucking red or black or something. Yeah. <laughs> or like a liposuction, like a really emergency liposuction. I mean, Fat Yoda could come back in here with his back popped all the way out and dead and... Oh, oh, that's I true. mean, we'd have to fit him through the door. Who is this gentleman? Who? Do you not see the Escalade that just rolled up in here? Uh... Oh. I mean, I know you're a bat fucking shit crazy doctor, but... <laughs> no, I was looking in another direction. Oh god, he's limping. That's yours. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. That's yours. Oh, he's drunk. He's drunk as a skunk surgery. Oh good, we got two illegally parked cars. Yeah, oh my God. yes. Oh, for fuck's sake, thank God cops are here. Yeah, thank God the cops um, are coming. Um, sir, are you okay? Are you okay there, sir? Uh, yeah, I, I cut my hand. I need to Get us a crash card and a trolley! Get an intubation tray immediately, get a gurney. What? Let's get him in here. my hand. Book an OR. <laughs> sir, let's come with me. <laughs> Fucking Sir, we're the doctors, okay? We'll, we'll tell you what you need. We are the medical professionals. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. 
Okay. Alright, let's get him into a bed around Please the corner. With us. Yes. Um, okay. Sir, do you need us to help you? I'm fine. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today, sir? Sir, just go. Drink? Um, uh, maybe. Okay. Okay, sir, just go with that doctor. I'll be with you shortly. Can we get a friggin' wheelchair or something? This guy walks about as slow as a lady. An old lady. Dennis. Dennis, where's the wheelchair? Yeah, I don't know where the nurse went with the wheelchair. She doesn't care, it would appear. Wait. Yeah. You okay? Just follow me, sir, a little bit further. Let's get you up on this bed here. Okay. Alright, just go ahead and lay on this bed directly in front of me. Sir, what is your name? My name is Tony. Okay, Tony, I'm Dr. Adams, okay? We're going to take care of that hand, okay? Alright, just... Yeah, just get on the bed a bit better, sir. We don't want you to roll off and break something else, or cut something else. Ah, uh, it's All so right, hard what's to condition? get up here. Uh, what was that, Chief? Uh, what's his condition? He's got a, a cut ham from what I can see. There's a bit of blood. And he seems to be very drunk. Oh, oh god, okay. I'll go get, uh, some stitches. Hey, and, uh, Chief, 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 Chief. Call the police, because yes. he's intoxicated and he was driving a car. Yep, already done. Okay. Sir, sir, I need you to I, lay on the bed I and sit still. You. Sir, I need you to sit... I think I'm going to leave now. Sir, leave. Uh, sir, sir, your hand is very, very bad. Sir, I need you to sit back on the bed. Get the sedation kit. Get the sedation kit. Sir. I don't trust you. I'm leaving. Sir, Bye. sir, I cannot recommend that you yeah. leave, sir. Sir, I, I cannot recommend that you leave, sir. Sir, your hand is about to fall off. I don't... You guys are not being helpful. Well, sir, I am trying to help you, but you won't sit on the bed, and I've got to take care of this wound on your hand, so I need you to come back to the bed, please. Uh, I'll just go drink another shot. No, sir, sir, I, can, you, can you at least put, let me put some stitches in your hand, please? It'll be fine. Yeah. Sir, 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 you're too drunk. Sir, I need to put some stitches in your hand. <laughs> you guys are trying to hold me here. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, there's gotta be a. There's gotta be another entrance. Let me out. Sir, sir, I need to stitch your hand. Can I at least stitch your hand and then you can be on your way? What about this guy? Hey, open that door. Dennis, Open that door. Dennis, he's drunk. Please don't listen to him. Sir, Tony, Tony, remember, it's Dr. Adams. Dennis. I just need to stitch your hand, okay? Dennis, get me a wheelchair. Yeah, Dennis will get you a wheelchair. I need you to come back to the bed so I can stitch your hand, Tony. Ugh, you guys are everywhere. Yep, Tony, come back to the bed. i got to stitch your hand, sir. You, you can't go back to your car. You just drove here drunk. Who are you? <laughs> now there's five of you. Oh god. Six or seven. Or okay. Something. Tony, we need to go back to the bed. Oh god. Yeah. If you're gonna puke on anyone, puke on the chief, not me. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I'm the a, I'm a trooper? He's a trooper. Okay. Tony, I need to stitch your hand though. It's a very bad cut and it's bleeding. So please come back to the bed. Uh, if we go stitch it, can I leave? Absolutely, bed? you can be somebody else's problem, oh, for yes. sure. Oh yes, yeah, 100% leave, yes. Yes, we will unlock the door for you to leave. I'll even open it yeah, for you. Leave hey, right into here, jail. Buddy. Hey, doctor. Doctor. Yes. You gonna give me 
me the are you gonna give me the good stuff? Yes, if if you come oh, back and sit on the bed, I will give you the good stuff and I'll stitch your hand and then you can be on your way. Okay. I've been saying this for the last I'll ten minutes, follow. Tony, but you're not listening to me. I'll I'll follow you. That that would be amazing. God, this guy walks like a grandma. Alright, Tony, remember this bed? You're gonna get back on the same bed that you put blood all over. Okay. I'll get the stitching kit. Yep, and get me a ten blade, please. And some scissors. Sir, hey, Tony, on the bed, please. You know what? What? Hey, I know where they keep all the money in the city. Oh, right, that's, that's very good, Tony. We'll talk about that after. Why? What was that? That's where I work. I work for the bank. Okay, good to know. Tony, sit on the... Tony, remember, i got to stitch your hand. Sit on the bed, please. Up, up here? That, bed? Yes, that's the bed that you put blood all over when you sat on it about five minutes ago. Here. Thank you. Alright, which hand is it, Tony? It's the left hand. The left hand, okay. Um, Chief, can you talk to these troopers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll talk to you, Doc. Let's go on out here, Doc. <laughs> Let's go out here, Doc. Alright, I'm gonna look at your left hand there. You need to sit still for me, Tony. This guy is just too drunk. I'm trying. I, th I think if you get up on the bed and you know what I mean, then you face this way and do whatever you're trying to do, you'll be fine. This is the worst patient. Were you troopers after this gentleman or something? Nope. Okay. Tony, I, what, you've... You're very energetic. You're making life very difficult. I don't... I don't think this bed likes me. Okay, just... Just come down here and rest your back up against the backboard and I'll stitch your hand while you're standing. That's perfect. Okay, give me your left hand. I want you to hold it out about this... This high here so it's kind of elevated. Alright. I'm just gonna inspect the wound. Hey nurse, when you're done with that, can you just take a blood sample from him too? Doctor, uh, I don't know. Hang on, who's the- who are you calling nurse, trooper? Uh, I'm sorry, you- yeah. uh, normally doctors wear white coats. It's and... Dr. Adams and I'm Chief of General Surgery, thank you. He called you a girl. Yeah, well, he's got a low IQ. We will, we'll we'll just ignore coast. that. Yeah. He didn't uh, go to ten years of med school. Attending surgeon, can you? Uh, Thank you. Can you just do a blood draw? Yes, you? nurse. Where's nurse Haley? We need a blood kit and some and a needle. Can't can't you just get the blood off the floor? <laughs> Maybe. Sir, I'm looking at this wound, but. But I'm not really seeing what I'm, I need to look at here. It must be pretty important to have the chief attending surgeon here. Well, we're the only doctors here oh, at the it's moment. Oh, a slow night. Very slow yeah. night. There's that illegal parked car. Oh, there's now two illegally parked cars out there in the bay. And we've had one fat guy come in here, complain about hamburgers, and then we've got, we got Mr. Cutty Hand here who's intoxicated. Oh, so that's kind of like that, our, uh, our Louis Laguini? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You're acquainted? Alright, I'm gonna stitch it. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt a little bit, sir. You're gonna feel a bit of a pinch here. 
I would normally give you medication, but you've had a you've had enough um, alcohol to probably medicate the rest of us here. So I'm sure you won't feel much. I thought I thought you were gonna give me the good stuff. I did. It's in this. It's in this swab. Hey, hey! I think my finger might be hanging. I'm not sure though. Uh, no, your finger looks I, fine. I slammed it in. I slammed it in a door pretty good. <laughs> Oh god. Um, his finger, uh, his. Tried bending your finger the opposite direction. Why is it threatening to you? No, no, sir. Your finger's bent. It's not hanging off. You're bending your finger. Oh. Help oh. if you type in chat. Okay. Oh my god. Hey, you're that drunk, huh? Uh, yeah, your hand looks pretty fine to me. It's just that cut that I'm stitching. I'm on the last couple of stitches now. Gosh, you guys really brought the party, huh? Yeah, yeah, we it's did. More, it's more like you brought the party. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Hey, I, I, I got some more tequila in the car if you guys want some, you know. I won't tell. Oh yeah, sounds good. Perfect. We'll be sure to take a take a look at that. All right, that's the last stitch there. I'm just gonna cut this bit we, off here. Okay. Go. Okay. Uh. All right. Started running his blood. I will have the results shortly. Results shortly. Okay. Yeah, you just let me know the BAC from it. Yeah. All right, Tony. What's your last name? My. My name is Tony Harris. Tony Harris. Okay, Mr. I Harris. I am the Fleeka, Fleeka Bank Manager for the main branch downtown. Okay, I didn't need to know that. I just needed to know your name. Can you can you tell me your date of, date of birth, please? Uh, a long time ago. A long time ago. Okay. Have you got something a bit more specific, like, you know, the year, the day, and the month? Uh, the day that I was born on the month, and then something. Yeah, like... yep, yep, that's the one. No? Yes? Ha, ah, that was funny, huh? Okay. I uh, just carbon right. date him. Can I, can I go now? Mr. Harris, how much have you had to drink tonight? Hey, did you get those blood results? Yes, no. Ten drinks, five drinks, twenty drinks. How many drinks? I I don't know. I quit counting after nineteen holes of golf, and then uh, the tequila la, and then the strip club, and then I slammed my door in the hand my hand in the door then I came here must have been a very sharp door well you know I don't know if you've ever slammed your hand in a door but it can cut no I'm a surgeon sir that would probably put me out of a job if I was to do that ah uh, yeah hey doc did you happen to get the the BAC from that blood draw um, not yet. It looks like uh, the the analysis team is running a bit slow today. Everything's running a bit slow today. Even the crash card is broken over there. Yeah. Do you mind just just double checking again for me? Yep, I'll uh, I'll triple check. Um, will you troopers be needing to talk to this gentleman? Yeah, as soon as you guys are all set. Well, we're just waiting for him to respond in the other world, if you know what I mean, and then once we do our last couple of checks, um, you guys will be able to talk to him. You probably won't get much out of him. He's very intoxicated, and he's very sore with that oh, hand. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, his, uh, his blood alcohol content came back to 0.15. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Oh wow, he already do I, do I win a wrong. prize for that? 
Uh, no. Yes. Yes. If you, if you, you get yeah. a free trip. If you want free to turn to against jail. the bed, I'll, uh, I'll give you your prize. A police escort. Sir? Oh, where did he get that from? Yes, sir. I don't oh, God. No. I'll just, uh... You got some I'll just go this stuff. way. And no, now I'm gonna give you your prize. Just, yeah, uh, so, you so, so you're free to leave the hospital. Way. Um, you need to yeah. sign out at the main door, though. You need to sign out at the service desk, sir. But you're free to go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no worries, Mr. Harris. You have a beautiful yeah, day. Yeah, you guys so don't... You guys don't yeah, have funny. to give me an escort, you know, I, I don't really <laughs> no, we, we, have a, we have another prize for you. Oh, look, there's some flowers. You guys want some flowers? Why no, you I want way? you to, uh, What? Personal to space. Don't you know what personal <laughs> space is? Yeah, I want you to stop. Personal space. Oh, he's oh, in hey, What? Alright, Tony. Sit tight, man. They're not mucking around with him. Jeez. What? I... Oh, Why? What? What's uh, going we're gonna on? Go outside. Well, that's where I was trying to go. Um, Trooper, well, Troop, that gentleman drove here in that black Escalade out there and then got out. He was stumbling all yeah, around yeah, and yeah. bleeding everywhere. I already talked to uh, this gentleman over yeah. here. I'm going to come get to okay. this moment, okay? Okay, he's yeah. free to leave our hospital, though. We just need him to sign out, though. I mean, I'll bring out the form. I'll bring it I'll out. I'll do it. Oh, okay, you'll do I'll, it, Chief? Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Dennis, yeah, I'll do it. Dennis, when I ask for a fucking wheelchair, can you bring me a wheelchair, okay? Jesus. Sign him out as acting parent today, apparently. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, we, we thank you very much for coming down here, Trooper. No problem. Thanks for calling us. We got a DUI arrest out of it, so that works for us. Yeah. Um, also, what is going to happen to the illegal parked vehicles out here? Uh, they're going to get towed anyway. Oh, perfect. I guess that's security's job. I got. I gotta go back in here and clean up. No, have fun. Thank you. I will. Well, that got very fucking hectic. <laughs> uh, yeah. That took a turn. Well, shit. A bleeding hand turned into an intoxicated driver. No, that's fun. Well, at least it was a scene. Nurse Haley, I need this bed changed, I need the cloth changed, and this um, tray, scalpel, and scissors, they all need washing or chucking out or whatever you need to do with them. Thank you. I'll burn them. Yeah. Just burn them. Fucking Dennis, I asked for a wheelchair two times. <laughs> Just stands there. Uh, Dennis was fired like six months ago. Well, why the fuck is he still at the friggin' desk? I wish I knew. That guy, I, I maybe we should get the police to take him. Oh, honestly. Let's try. I've, let's I've try. Tried, let's try and get the police to take him. I've tried killing him. Uh, he, Hang he on. I'm work. gonna try and get the police to. Yeah. I'm